What's up guys, it's Redfall here, and welcome back to Super Mario Bros. 2. So we're going to quickly go back to where we were last time in World 9, and we're going to try to finish this world today. Um, while also trying to find our way to World A through D, because like I said in the last episode, if we can't find our world to, way to World A through D, we'll just skip them and go to World, uh, World, uh, World, what, 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 what? Well, no, wait, we're, not, we're going to a different game. Super Mario Bros. 2 USA, which is also a notoriously hard one. Oh, I died. I wonder if there's a power-up in any of these. We will never know, because you can't hit question mark blocks underwater. Good to know. And I can't. Okay, this is just great. Also, I'm, in my, I'm currently in my small Mario state. This is, like, the worst state to be in when you're doing small fire trick. Because you're like, you're big, so you're like, you have the disadvantages of being big, but then you die in one hit, which removes the whole point of being big. So this is actually a really bad place to be in. Um, I, we lost our small fire in the last episode, beating the uh, the second Bowser in World 8-4. I can't go on top, which is interesting, I find. But hey, it's fine. I don't know how the swimming physics and mechanics work in Super Mario Bros. 1 slash Lost Levels, but, um, I doubt they're really good, so, um, wish me luck. Okay, can I stomp on Goomba's wall underwater? No, don't try it. Okay, so don't, you can't stomp on enemies while you're underwater. Maybe if you're moving in a downwards moment, okay. Alright, um, if you, if that's how, how that's gonna work. Alright, okay, we're still on 9-1, so we're not making a lot of good progress this episode. But I'm sure they'll speed up once I stop being dumb and actually try. Alright, okay, these piranha plants are fine because their hitboxes are completely messed up underwater. The only good thing is I can actually see them. Because, like, if you don't know, in World 8-4 and other places, um, there's just a pipe behind the water texture. Um, so you literally can't see it, and I find that extremely unfair, because you literally can't see it, like, it's hidden, okay, alright, I might want to make a safe state halfway through the level, so I don't have to redo this entire section, because honestly, it's getting pretty tedious, not gonna lie, <sighs> okay, we're doing fine for now, but I doubt that's gonna last, Especially because I hate swimming levels, and apparently World 9 is all about swimming, so... This is not gonna end very well, huh? Alright, we made it past the part with the piranha plants. Let me just quickly clear the state here, so we don't have to go through that ever again. And we can just focus all of our concentration on trying to get past the area with the latitude. And now that I think about it, maybe if I just swim over everything, everything will be fine. Oh, oh, wait, hold on. Flagpole under... Flag pull underwater? Okay. Oh. Alright. That wasn't so bad. Okay. Alright. Let me just make sure all of my audio is configured correctly. Here we go. 9-2. Looks like, like a continuation of 9-1. Oh, Lakitu's back. And I fell into a whirlpool. Now, there's no way to go above this. Yeah, there's no way to go above it. Maybe if I, like... Oh, okay. Maybe if I swim into this at the perfect angle and then hit left at the exact right time, I could get in there. But um, I doubt I would be able to do that with my skills. You know, with my current skill set, I doubt I would be able to. Yeah, I can't even break there. Yeah, don't. Yeah, that's not a good idea. Okay, I just ran right into this one. I don't know what I'm doing. That was not that was not smart of me. Okay, well, gotta be careful. Don't get sucked into the whirlpool. But also don't get eaten alive. Is this just gonna go on for the entire level? Oh I swear to god. Oh come on! You've gotta be kidding me. I w I got pretty far in that attack. Oh, 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 this is hard. Like really hard okay we're gonna create a state there so that i don't have to worry about doing that ever oh crap my 
audio is broken now. Great. Okay. Everything's fixed. Okay. And we made it past that spine. That one spine. So it should be smooth sailing from here, right? Um, nope. Wait, is this actually? Okay, that, yeah, that's good. That's not a soft lock. If that was a soft lock, oh. Wait, is this the end? Okay, this is the end. This is the end. This is the end. And we got 5,000 points, even though I probably shouldn't even be celebrating because it's literally a swimming level. So, um, I wonder if I can make my voice a little louder. I don't know if it's loud enough right now. Okay. Yo, not a water level? Insane. Oh, it's like I'm entering the castle. This is a sick idea. Wait, 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 whoa, whoa, okay. It's, it's like an outdoor castle. I love this idea. Why wasn't this in the base game? Probably because they, wa they wanted the base game to be actually hard. And then this one is just kind of there to be there, I guess. Uh, let's see what's in the block. A vine. What if I don't want to take the vine? Oh, is it, is it a loop? Wait, this isn't a loop. This is a different section of the level. Huh. What? Wait, is this the same location that the vine would have taken into? Let's see. Yes, it would. All right. Well, I really want to explore both paths of this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head through this area here and see where I end up landing. Right before this section. Interesting. So where will that pipe take me now? Pipe. Go down the pipe. Back up here. All right. Wait. Are the coins I collected back? The coins I collected are back. Best coin exploit ever? Well, my question is, oh, infinite coins. Let's go. I can get five coins per run. That's insane. All right, I'm joking. Don't ever try that. Can I go on top here? Probably ruined it. Oh, I can. Let's see where this goes. Uh, okay, I skip a Bowser. I skipped a Bowser fight? Hold on. I actually want to see what happens if I fight the Bowser. Skip the coin having because I don't really feel like coins right now. Yes, I am. I am just exploring. I know I'm supposed to be making progress here, but like I am hooked into what World Nine is. This is like a bonus world, right? And I love exploring bonus worlds. Okay, so there's a Bowser, or I guess that would be Bruce. And then, yeah, okay. But what if I, you know, didn't use my brain? What if I didn't use my brain and actually went down the intended path? Then I have to. Then I would have to fight a Bowser. Okay. Well, I'm not fighting that Bowser. Uh oh. Ah, crap. Whoopsie. All right. So it turns out that I just completely screwed that over. So I got to redo nine two now. Well. Ah. <sighs> you know what? In life, sometimes you got to make mistakes. All right, well, I will see you when I get back to that level. Um, wait, I'm already at that level. Okay, I'm just being a dumbo. I'm going to skip past this cutscene because we've already seen it. I'm getting fireworks too. Awesome. All right, here we go. Save so I do that doesn't happen again. Can I just get a single power-up so I can return to my small fire state? That'd be really awesome. I don't know what that, like, what that spring is for. I think that's for trolling. I think it's for trolling purposes. Because you know the Lost Levels loves to troll people. Alright, I'm gonna skip the coin heaven and go straight to the second Bowser fight. Well, I guess it's not the second, but it is Bruce because he's not on the bridge. Anyway, I'm gonna head up here, I'm gonna skip Bowser, and then we're gonna jump on that flagpole. Over the flagpole? Wait, over the flag, anything cool? No. Damn it. Oh, here's the invisible block you're supposed to run into. Um, that's really cool. Nah, I can show that off. But anyway, it's, you know, I gotta get to the bottom of the flagpole now. I'm gonna skip past this cutscene because I think we've lost enough time 
at this point. Oh, whoa, 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 all the time's running out. Oh. Okay, uh, we're in 9 4 now. It's underwater, and I don't like this because there's no background. And there's hammer bros underwater. Of course there are. I should have expected. Okay, what happens if I just spam near the top? P J T R. Picture? P Picture. It's in Japanese, isn't it? It's in Japanese, isn't it? Uh, probably is. Okay. Um, I'm actually hooked now, so I'm gonna actually Google what that's supposed to be right after I finish this level. Because I know that's an exclamation mark, and that's the end of the level. So it was a celebration level. Awesome. Okay, we won. We won the game. Awesome. This is great. It looped us back in World 9-1? No way. That's it? Okay. Cool. That was fun. Game over. You're a super player. We hope we'll see you again. Mario and staff. Okay. All right. Oh. I don't know what's going on. It's a... Oh. I'm back to world 1-1. One, one. Okay, well, that's not how you do it. All right, well, that was me exploring world 9. If you guys know how to beat, how to get to world A other than beating, other how to get to world A through D without me beating the game eight times, please let me know, and I will explore those four worlds. All right, and before we leave off, you, I guess you can just click off right now, but before we leave off, I thought it'd be cool to uh, Google if that was a real message or not. So I'm going to look up Super Mario Bros. Lost Levels 9-4 message. See if anything shows up. Okay, here, here it is. This level takes place entirely underwater. The player will encounter a Goomba, Koopa Troopa, Buzzy Beetle, Green Koopa Troopa, Hammer Bro, and a Blooper before coming to a series of arranged blocks. The blocks read the Japanese characters... I can't read that. Arigato, or thank you. Oh, so like, it's like, they think I've legitimately beat the game because like, you know, I technically did in the game standards. They don't know I'm playing with emulator. Um, they thought I actually beat the game. So what they, what, what they, that's, I guess that's just a thank you. Thank you for playing and wasting 10 hours of your life trying to get to this point. And now we're just going to loop you back at World 9. Anyway, thanks for playing. <laughs> That's literally what they did. That is so... Okay, that is just me. Okay, well, we're back in World 9 now. So, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. And goodbye.